Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh with TechZone UK, and in this video I want to show you how you can use your Android phone as a wireless IP camera. Now the best thing about this video is that your Android phone does not have to be rooted, it doesn't have to have any special additions or anything like that. The only thing that we do need is one application and that is for the phone only. We don't need an application for the uh, Windows PC either or a Mac or Linux because it, all it uses on your PC is your web browser. So the first thing we really need to do is come into the Google Play Store and you need to search for an application called IP Webcam. It's completely free, which is the best thing about it. So uh, obviously just come to the search box here, type in IP Webcam, select the first one there, and then uh, just click Install on the application window just there. So once you've done that, let's go home, and let's just open up the IP Webcam app. So here it is just on the right. And what it's going to go and do is change the orientation of your phone here. So there we go. I'll move that into the screen for you. And what we need to do is when you first launch the application, you're going to see this window just here. Now I'm just going to change the orientation to the other way, just makes things a bit easier when going through the settings here. Go to the top. Now the first option we have is to set the resolution. Now I've set my resolution to 720p. Uh, obviously, the lower the resolution, the faster the frame rate. So if you're sort of in for the frame rate and quality, I'd go down to a lower resolution. But whereas I want a big screen to be able to see what's going on, so I'm just going to go with the 720p, which is a 1280 by 720. If you're going to do stills, you can set up your resolution. Now my phone has quite a good camera, so it can get quite a high resolution there. Um, I'm a bit surprised it doesn't allow 1080p video streaming, but hey ho. And the quality, uh, you'd set this to obviously um, the lower the quality, the faster the frame rate. Whereas I'm picky, so I'm just going to go with full because I want to see everything in the best way possible. Uh, under orientation you can set landscape or portrait um, so obviously I've, I've just gone with landscape for mine uh, that way you can get more of a view of what's going on uh, you have the option to use the front facing camera if you want you don't have to and under FPS limit I've set that to 30 which I think is default anyway so click OK on that um, focus mode uh, you can have manual uh, infinity macro manual uh, aggressive for taking uh, shot and smooth for recording video so I'm going to go smooth for a recording video there and for login and password what we need to do is create a username and password I've set mine up as user as the username and password as the password um, I mean I'm the only person on my network really so no one else is going to be using this alone thinking about even connecting to it uh, under port you're going to have port 8080 uh, if you've got a firewall on your Windows PC uh, that is blocking uh, internal connections then you'll need to um, set this up to LA, um, allow port 8080 if not you don't need to worry about it um, if you want to do it the easy way I just disable your firewall whilst you use it um, obviously maybe not the best thing for security but you know, for testing purposes it might be a good idea audio mode this is quite cool um, you can have it so obviously you can listen to what's going on so um, we can have this enabled I just took disable mine it allows more uh, if the audio is again taking up um, bandwidth on the network so if you can disable that you can get faster video streaming uh, prevent the phone from going to sleep you really want that and uh, that's pretty much it really so what we want to do now is we want to press start server and this is going to change the orientation of our phone here so I'm going to move that back into the middle and what you can see is that on my phone at the moment I have my webcam going so what we need to do now is make it so that we can view this um, camera on our main um, on our main PC. So I'm just going to put my phone down there. And what we're going to need to do is on the screen here is we're going to need to um, open up our web browser. So we're going to put that there. And what you can see on the app here is at the bottom it's given us a web address which is http colon slash slash 192.168.1.14 port 8080 so all we need to do is type that into our web address like so and hit enter and it's asking us um, for a username and password so our username was user and our password was password and what mine's doing at the moment is because my uh, the app I'm using to record my um, phone which is called my mobile 
Um, I'll be doing a video on that again soon. Is it's trying to connect to the server for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, disconnect from my my um, mobile uh, service here very quickly, and I'll be back. One quick thing I would say though is make sure you memorize that IP address just there. Obviously on your screen it would be perfectly fine, but that's the IP address we'll need to connect to in a second. Alright, so I'm back here and as you can see now it says the server says IP webcam, that's what we want. So in this box what we're going to do is just type in our username which was user and then we're going to type in our password here which was password. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit login. Now, on our screen we have several options that we can use to view our camera. Um, the way that I found works is if you just go to this one here, which is HTTP, um, and the links on control, uh, click, and what this is going to do is send the stream of our webcam, as you can see. We've got a quite a nice little um, IP camera going on there. This is completely wireless, and as you can see, there's my screen um, with the, the wireless IP camera. So we can just put that down for a second. Let's have a look at some more options that we got. Uh, use Java browser plugin. So if we sh uh, control click on that and run this time, you can see it's asking for a username again. Type in our username and password. And I'm just going to make this run every time. And as you can see now, we've got another um, control going on here for the, the wireless IP cams. Can you see we've got multiple ways of being able to control it? Also, we've got this really cool little feature here. Look, we can control the actual phone from being able to turn the LED on and off, which is pretty cool. So, obviously, if you it's getting dark in the room, and best of all, we've got autofocus. So, if I was to put this in front of my microphone just here, hit autofocus, you can see that then autofocuses onto my uh, onto my microphone there. So, what we can do is turn off the LED, and I'm gonna close out of that. So, look at another method we got here. Um, so we can use browser built in viewer not supported by some browsers. Let's just see if our one has this built in, which it does, which is very useful. You can see with Java and this one here, we've got some sort of uh, higher frame rate, which is quite good. Um, and then the same controls just here. So we can close out of that. And under here, uh, we can connect with uh, Skype and things like that. Um, what I'll do is um, you can see the link that I normally use is this one here um, software slower less secure supports JPEG frames audio streaming as well we can use that on there um, so that's pretty much it really for this video on how you can use um, your Android phone as a webcam normally I'll just go with the, the Java browser plugin there it's a lot easier and it works quite well or use the the inbuilt one because obviously this one isn't supporting 720p by the looks of things but the good thing about it is that you could set this up with um, you know uh, sound and things like that so you could have a full security camera a bit of an expensive security camera really but you know it still works so um, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions or anything like that or want to give me some feedback um, please do drop a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you so uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care.